Picture this, the most expensive warship ever built, America's $13 billion USS Gerald Ford floating majestically in the ocean. Then a $2,000 drone, smaller than a motorcycle, approaches at wave top level. What happens next will terrify every admiral in the US Navy. I'm about to reveal why the most advanced naval defense systems in human history are being defeated by technology you can buy online. You'll discover the fatal flaw that makes our most powerful weapons useless. How a $2,000 investment can neutralize a $13 billion asset and the terrifying reason why this changes everything about naval warfare. I spent two weeks analyzing classified naval exercises, interviewing former Navy officers, and studying recent combat data from the Red Sea. What I found will change how you think about American military dominance forever. You've probably seen those impressive videos of aircraft carriers launching F-35s and firing massive missiles. But the Pentagon has a secret problem they don't want you to know about. Today, I'm going to reveal three shocking truths. First, why our most advanced radar systems can't see what's coming. Second, how a simple math problem is bankrupting our naval defense. And third, the one vulnerability that makes every aircraft carrier a sitting duck. This isn't theory. This is happening right now in the Red Sea, and it's about to change naval warfare forever. But there's something the Navy doesn't want you to know about their $13 billion floating fortress. The USS Gerald Ford carries the most advanced radar systems ever installed on a warship. These systems can track a baseball-sized object 200 miles away and simultaneously monitor over 1,000 targets. But here's the problem. They were designed to fight the last war, not the next one. Modern attack drones like the Iranian Shahid-136 have a radar cross-section of just 0.01 square meters. That's smaller than a seagull. And they fly at 10 to 20 feet above the water surface, using something called the radar horizon effect. Here's why this matters. Radar waves travel in straight lines. When a drone flies below the radar horizon, it's literally invisible until it's within 15 miles of the ship. At 120 miles per hour, that gives the crew exactly seven minutes to detect, identify, and destroy the threat. This isn't theoretical. On December 16, 2023, the USS Kearney faced exactly this scenario in the Red Sea. 12 Houthi drones approached the ship, and despite having the world's most advanced naval defense systems, the crew had less than 10 minutes from detection to impact. The age of naval invisibility is over. Our enemies know exactly how to exploit this weakness, and they're doing it right now. Secret number two, the math that's bankrupting America. But the detection problem is nothing compared to the economic nightmare that's keeping Pentagon officials awake at night. Let me show you some math that will blow your mind. A Shahed 136 drone costs approximately $2,000 to build. The cheapest missile that can intercept it, an evolved Sea Sparrow, costs $1.8 million. That's a 900 to one cost disadvantage. But it gets worse. During that Red Sea engagement, the USS Kearney fired SM-2 missiles, costing $2.1 million each, and SM-6 missiles costing $3.9 million each. In a single engagement, they spent over $100 million defending against threats that cost less than $50,000 to build. Now imagine this scenario. Iran launches 1,000 Shahed drones simultaneously. Total cost to Iran, $2 million. Cost for the US to intercept them all, $2 billion. This is asymmetric warfare at its most brutal. We're being forced to spend a thousand times more than our enemies to defend against their attacks. The Houthis have launched nearly 400 attacks since November 2023. At current interception costs, defending against these attacks is costing American taxpayers over $1 billion per month. We're literally being bankrupted by $2,000 drones. Secret number three, the fatal design flaw. But here's the most terrifying secret of all, and it's hiding in plain sight. Aircraft carriers have one fundamental vulnerability that no amount of technology can fix. They're massive, slow-moving targets that can't hide. The USS Gerald Ford is 1,106 feet long and displaces 100,000 tons. It's literally the size of a small city floating on the ocean. And despite having nuclear propulsion, its maximum speed is only 30 knots, about 35 miles per hour. Now imagine 500 drones approaching from multiple directions simultaneously. 
Each drone is autonomous, communicating with the others, adapting to defensive measures in real time. The carrier's last line of defense is the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, a 20-millimeter Gatling gun that fires 4,500 rounds per minute. But it can only engage targets within 1.5 miles, and it can only track one target at a time. Do the math. 500 drones, multiple approach vectors, seven-minute warning time. The Phalanx system would need to destroy one drone every second to stop them all. And here's what should terrify every American. China has already demonstrated the ability to control over 10,000 drones simultaneously. That's not a military exercise. That's a preview of the future of warfare. No aircraft carrier in the world can survive a coordinated swarm attack of that magnitude. The bigger picture, naval warfare revolution. What we're witnessing isn't just a tactical problem. It's the end of an era. For over 80 years, aircraft carriers have been the ultimate symbol of naval power. They've projected American strength across the globe, deterred conflicts, and maintained the balance of power. But technology has a way of making even the mightiest weapons obsolete. Just as the machine gun ended cavalry charges and guided missiles ended battleship dominance, drone swarms are ending the age of the aircraft carrier. The future of naval warfare won't be built around massive, expensive platforms. It will be about distributed networks of smaller, cheaper, more expendable assets that can overwhelm traditional defenses through sheer numbers. America's $13 billion aircraft carriers aren't just vulnerable, they're becoming strategic liabilities that drain resources while providing targets for our enemies. The harsh reality is this. We've spent decades and hundreds of billions of dollars building the most impressive military in history, only to discover that our greatest weapons can be defeated by technology that costs less than a used car. But here's what's really fascinating. While our aircraft carriers are sitting ducks on the surface, there's one military vehicle that makes the entire drone problem completely irrelevant. I'm talking about a machine that can disappear for months at a time, carry enough firepower to level entire cities, and operate in a domain where no drone can ever reach it. The US Navy calls it their ace in the hole, and it's the one weapon system that keeps China awake at night. What makes this vehicle so special? It can stay submerged for 25 years without surfacing, travel anywhere in the world undetected, and launch attacks from a thousand miles away. And here's the crazy part. While everyone's worried about drones, this machine is quietly becoming the most powerful weapon on Earth. But there's something even more incredible. The latest version of this vehicle has technology so advanced that it makes science fiction look primitive. We're talking about capabilities that would have been impossible just five years ago. Click this video to discover the $4 billion submarine that makes aircraft carriers obsolete and why this underwater monster is about to change the balance of power in the Pacific forever. What this submarine can do from 300 feet underwater will blow your mind and terrify America's enemies.